Hey, hey, happy Tuesday, quarantiners. I hope this video finds you happy, healthy, blessed, and one step closer to becoming sick and tired of being sick and tired. Man, 45 constant days. 45 days we've been in quarantine right now, and man, it's just one thing after the other, it seems like, you know, with the, with the president telling people to inject themselves with disinfectant and, and, and sunshine. <laughs> oh, man. It, it, it's amazing the amount of negativity and the way people are just blasting everybody, man. Everybody, everybody's mad, man, and I get it. You know, and the reason why I get it so well is because, man, a lot of us have lost the vision of our ideal self, you know, the best image of who we are and what we do. And kind of what's jump-started all this for me, guys, is I, um, I had a great conversation with a veteran friend of mine this past Saturday, and we were talking about um, he was he was kind of confiding in me about some of the some of the issues he's having. You know, he's 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 frustrated. He's pissed off because you know he's lost his ideal self. You know, he you know, and for him, it's because of his injuries. You know, he he's an amputee. Um, he he's he's gained weight. He's he's lost his romance for life. You know, he's lost his energy for life. And and you know, I did. You know, when I got hurt, I was I was pissed off. I was aggravated all the time because there were people out there that were my age that were doing so much more than I was because you know, they had the ability to and me, I was I was stuck in my petty party. I was I, I had my injuries, I couldn't keep up. And it started to weigh in on my psyche. And you know, crazy enough, I'm kind of seeing the same thing out of a lot of you guys and girls out there, you know, who are not necessarily deemed essential workers. You have lost your ideal self because you're not allowed to go out there and, and do what you see yourself doing. You know, whatever job it is that you have, or if you are an essential worker, you're not allowed to do your job the way you were doing it before all of this happened. You know, so you, you know, and what we fail to realize is our normal daily grind it does have a tendency of causing us to lose our ideal self, you know. I mean, you know, you, you go out there and you, you want to work and you want to be a successful person uh, in the business world. You want to be a successful husband, successful wife, father, aunt, uncle, grandparent, whatever the case is. And with all of the stresses of everything going on, you tend to kind of put all that on the back burner because, man, we got to make this money and we got to pay these bills. You know, money makes the world go round, you know. Think back when you were a kid. Remember when somebody would say, Little Johnny, what do you want to be when you grow up? Well, you know, your imagination took over. And and as uh, as our imagination took over, man, we had, we had these great, big, huge ideas because we were fearless. We didn't know to be afraid. We knew that we could do whatever we wanted to do. Now, look, I was six foot tall in junior high. I, I could never say I wanted to be a jockey, right? But the reality of the matter is, is, if everybody could be what they wanted to be when they grow up, you know, most likely we'd have a world full of firefighters, police officers, and astronauts. That's just, it is what it is. But somewhere along the line, you know, like in this veteran's case, in my case, and maybe in some of your cases, you know, you've lost your desire to live and your imagination has gone into hibernation. Um, you know, you knew that, that you didn't have to be afraid because you could go out there and do what you do, but somewhere our fear has set in and we've decided to choose the safe route. And, and even with this, with the, with the Rona, you know, we're, we're afraid to, to go out and enjoy nature and, 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 and hang out with our family because, you know, we're, we're in this protective mode and we have chosen the safe route. And for some people choosing their safe route has been the willingness to give away all of their freedoms because they trust that somebody's making better decisions for them. But I digress. I want to get back to the actual human condition itself. And I was telling this veteran, I said, man, you need a reset. And I kind of feel like that, you know, because and I know that because I had to do a reset. And chances are some of you folks out there need to do a reset. So how do we do a reset? How do we take this this unique opportunity that we've been given that really has been <laughs> force fed to us? We've been voluntold that we got to shut it down. How do we do a reset? And, and I was telling this guy, you know. How do you get out of your grind? You know, how do you get out of your 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 situation where you're stuck? And and I and I, you know, and I and I the very first thing is I told him I said, brother, I said you got to make you got to start setting goals for yourself. I said first thing I asked him I said, well, what's your routine? He said I don't have one. He said I go to sleep when I go to sleep. I wake up when I wake up. And, you know, I don't have any interest in doing anything at all. 
And, you know, I, I don't like that, but I don't know how to get back. And I said, man, start making some goals for yourself. You know, write it down. And, and the important thing about, about doing your goals is they need, to be, they need to be specific. They need to be measurable. They need to be small and attainable. You know, I mean, hey, an elephant, an entire elephant can be eaten just one bite at a time. You know, and that's kind of the gist of it. You know, when you, when you take those goals, you need to write them down. And then when you write those goals down, you need to put them in places where you know that you're going to see them every day, every, you know, several times a day, just to remind you. I told him, I said, man, make your goal sheet and tape it to your phone. I said, because you don't have a routine, one thing that you're going to do is you're going to grab your cell phone and first thing in the morning to check your social media feed. Grab your phone and read your goals out loud and keep it. You know, and, and, and do it several times a day. And as a matter of fact, take your goals and share them with somebody that you trust that's going to kind of be your, your, um, your coach, someone that's going to make you accountable, like an accountability uh, partner. You know, and, and part of setting your goals, man, is, you know, demand that perfect practice. Man, you know, that old saying that amateurs practice until they get it right, professionals practice it until they can't get it wrong. You know, develop that plan of attack. You know, as you're as you're trying to go through your goals, man. Once they're listed, develop a plan of attack. Some of you guys may remember that uh, that video about Leroy Jenkins when they're coming up with all this this video game where all these guys are coming up with this great plan to take care of this impossible room, and Leroy Jenkins runs in there and just fucks it all up. <laughs> you know, he didn't he didn't stick to the plan of attack, and naturally everybody just got watered down and got destroyed. You know, and and that's kind of what happens when we set our goals is we we don't necessarily have a plan of attack as far as how we want to get out of the funk that we're in. And one of the worst things that happens to us is we start we, we, we pay attention to our inner critic, you know. Our our inner critic is that constant radio station, K B A D, K Bad, the station where nothing good happens. You know, our inner critic will shut us down and steal our momentum really fast. And 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 one of the things that I've told him is, man, you got to stop listening to your inner critic. Listen to some positivity, man. And not just just as, almost as dangerous as your inner critic is your outside critics. You know, your haters that are going to cast shade on everything, man. You got to remove negative people from your life. And if some of those people are family members, and you can't necessarily remove them, man, take a break from them. You know, I mean, several of you out there, I'm sure, have taken a break from Facebook and social media because you just needed to get away from that negativity for a while. Why not do the same for the for the people in your life who who bring negativity, who want to talk about negativity? That's all they want to have. You know, because at this very important time in your life where you're trying to do this reset, you have to you have to surround yourself with with positive people. You know, this reset it requires positivity. It requires um, healthy thoughts and actions. You know, it's a very, very vulnerable point in your life where you really need to just have nothing but positivity. And social media, as great as it is, it's not always so great because you've got to weed through the negativity to find the jokes, to find the funny memes and the, and the videos and the humanity videos where great things are happening. So maybe social media is one of the first things that you need to cut out of your life for a little while. You know, just to, just to reset your mind, you know, to, to get back to where you want to be. You know, find a coach, and it's what I've told him. I said, man, and I'll be your coach, you know. You know, and your coach needs to be somebody somebody that you trust, you know, who, who's going to help you focus on your strengths. And so how do we focus on those strengths? Is what we do, you know, like any business that, that, that has, that any retail business for that matter, I guess, is you have to take inventory. But you need to take inventory of yourself. You know, find those, find those things that you're good at, no matter what they are. Hey, man, what are you good at? Well, I can make a great omelet. Man, write that shit down. Man, I'm, I'm great at, you know, I, I tell good jokes. Man, write that down. You know, well, I can, <laughs> I, can, I can jump up and touch the ceiling. Man, write that down if that's what you're good at. It doesn't matter what you're good at. Whatever positive attribute you have, man, write it down. And focus on that, man, because your inner critic, what happens is your inner critic tells you that you're, you're fat, you're out of shape, you're useless, nobody loves you, I hate me. And the thing is, if, if you don't love you, then how can you expect anyone else to love you? If you don't believe that, you're going, that you are successful in your heart, how can you expect the world to believe you too? It all starts with what's inside. And, and sometimes, man, 
we got to reach out. Les Brown once said that sometimes we need to believe in someone else's belief in us until our belief kicks in. And that's kind of the that's kind of the crux, ain't it? You know, we with your with your accountability coach, with your accountability partner, that person needs to feed you nothing but positivity. And and, and tell them that. You know, when you when you choose your coach, when you choose your person, tell them, look, man, I'm in a real funky spot right now. I just need nothing but positivity. And look, it, it may feel weird, you know, having somebody tell you, you know, positive things all the time because you're so used to telling yourself negative all the time. It's gonna feel real weird. But it's it's like a computer, man. Garbage in, garbage out. You know, if you eat if you eat like crap, you're gonna feel like crap. If you if you sit around like a lump of crap, you're gonna be a lump of crap. You know, exercise. You know, you gotta have those positive things in your life. And you know, celebrate small victories, man. As you as you're starting to check off these goals through your plan of attack, you know, and you have these small victories, man. Check them off and celebrate them. You know, but don't let these celebrations be counterproductive. And, you know, kind of what I mean, like if your goal is to lose weight and you have this plan of attack and you lose five pounds, that's worth celebrating. But don't eat a whole damn cake to celebrate. You know, don't let your cheat day become a cheat week. Um, you know, and stop comparing. And, and this is kind of kind of what I did, what I've gone through when I was going through my injuries and, and what my, my veteran's going through with his injuries, you know. He's comparing his journey to people of his age, of his background, or, or he's quantifying pain. You know, I have people all the time, well, you know, you know, my back hurts, but well, nothing like you, Mr. Blackman, you know, because I haven't been through what you've been through. Man, who gives a crap, man? Don't compare what your pain looks like compared to mine. That whole, co- that whole comparison journey, that comparison of pain, quanti- trying to quantify this stuff, man, it, all, it, it, it's cancerous. It's, it's negative. You know, your journey is your journey. It's specific for you for a reason. You know, you can't have someone, you know, try to compare what what they're doing in life to what you're doing in life. You know, I've got people that are my age that are, man, financially successful, man. They're real estate agents. They're 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 uh, public speakers. They're 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 finding all this wonderful success that that, you know, and, and and I'm like, man, well, why ain't I successful? Why ain't I doing what they're doing? You know, they're, they're better than me. And, and, and I, I try to make all these comparisons and quantifications. And, and really, it's counterproductive in our lives. You know, so I guess the gist of what I'm getting at is, and what I've told this guy, man, is, you know, what's going on with this coronavirus and, and, call, and kind of brought everything to a stop? You know, it's take advantage of this opportunity. You know, for 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 a lot of us, man, we're, we're, we're family folks, man. We, we have... We have husbands and wives and, and, and children and grandchildren. You know, okay, so we can't go out and do what we normally do. Let's let's turn our attention to what we can control and what we can do. Let's try to build those relationships. You know, reach out. You know, I, and the, the great thing about this virus is boredom is kind of set in. So I've been, I've been reaching out and I've been watching Tammy reach out. And, man, we've had conversations with people we haven't talked to in 20 years. And it's kind of cool, man, because you go back to those remember wins and you just for a moment, you're separated from from the negativity in your life. And, and you're you're celebrating those those good times that you used to have. And sometimes that's what you need. You know, use this opportunity to reach out and and reignite old connections, re uh, recreate the the life that you want. This is a great opportunity to do so. So instead of worrying about all of the negativity that's going on in this life, guys, reset. That's kind of the good, that's kind of the mess here. It's time to reset who you are and, and make the best of it. So when you do go back to work, you know what you want to, you know what you expect out of yourself and you know the person that you want to become. Because I think if you go back and look at what you were before this quarantine, before you were um, furloughed or, or laid off or unemployed, whatever the case is, um, you know, you'll find that, that you weren't living your ideal self. So your ideal self is the best image that you wanna that you see in your life. And take it take this opportunity to find your ideal self and become the ideal person that you want to be. It's never too late to do so. You know, and one thing about this life, man, nobody's gonna get out of this world alive. We're all gonna die no matter what we do and what we don't do. We our, our time is very uncertain, so we might as well make the best of our time and 
and embrace every moment that we have to try to try to take our situation and make it just a little bit better. Well, guys, that's just about it for what I have uh, in this part of the video um, or this part of the message, I guess. I'll, I'll be hitting you guys up again, Lord willing. I'll see you again in uh, another week or less. But, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to listen. Um, and I hope that this video has been helpful for you guys. You know, it's, it's going to be okay. I promise you we are going to be okay. Um, I don't know what the horizon looks like, but I know that I woke up today and I'm already winning. You know, it's early in the morning and I've already found success and, you know, I, I can't wait to see what the rest of the day has, what tomorrow brings. Guys, take care of yourself. Keep your heads up. I promise you it's going to be good. Y'all take care of each other. And I'm, as always, I'm always here. If you ever need to shoot a message or you need to contact me, you know how to find me. All right, guys, stay blessed.